you bought the car as is, why do you believe that you have the opportunity now to come back and get a refund or a new car because of a defect that somebody was able to see with their eyes? The thing is, I never saw the car because I couldn't drive. So when they delivered the car, my son went out with me and we checked the car. That's when I was able to check the car. As soon as I saw the rust, I did communicate with him. Well, first I took it to a body shop. I took it to two body shops and my mechanic. Three different people told me the same thing. But this was after the point at which you had already agreed to purchase it. She and, had a vehicle for a week. Oh, hold on. And exchange money, correct? That's correct. And, and I asked him, I, before I sent him the check, because he wanted 1099 for the car, and I agreed on eight. When I told him, I found the rust, and I said, you, will you put me in something of equal value? He said, yes. It wasn't equal value to the 8000 It was equal value to the vehicle that I already had. So let me stop you there. Does your son have any particular experience with cars? Is he a car specialist or an expert? No, no, no. He was just looking to... Looking at the right. car. This is just a guy who was taking a look and with his eyes saw rust in exactly. the car. Exactly. Well, you told me you, you took oh, the car oh, somewhere to get on, a tire like that. Hold on, and I'm going to show here plaintiff's oh, exhibit A. How do you not notice, just in looking at the car, this extent of rust? Yeah, because of where it was. And the only way that she knew about it because she took it somewhere to get it, uh, the oil change or tire looked at, and she told me they noticed the rust under there. And that's how they noticed it. I didn't notice it because of where it was. Is that accurate? Yeah. It's not. That what you're showing is the door. That's the panel when you open the door. That's where my baby saw the rust. So that's the kind of thing when if you buy a car as is, it's something that essentially is your responsibility to notice and object to at the time. Right. My daughter-in-law is the one that bought us together, which she's not talking to me now, so I've lost that relationship, and I can't see my grandchildren because of that, but that's neither here nor there. Is that over this? That's not true. Yes. That's totally no, not oh, true. It's, sir, please. <laughs> and when my baby saw that, I took it around the corner to a body shop. They looked at it and they said, this car has a hold under it. They said, it's been painted black to cover the rust. But they said to replace it, you would have to replace the whole bottom and all the doors and all those sides. And they said, honestly, to replace this, it'd be more than what the car is worth. There is an exception to an as-is sale if there's active fraud or attempt to deceive. Then the as-is provision kind of goes by the wayside. I see it from this perspective. This got completely out of control. Your daughter-in-law went to her boss to ask for a car for you. He had a car that was valued at $10,000. He never saw the rust. He made sure the engine and the transmission was good. That's what he does. You negotiated it down to $8,000. Out of that $8,000, he paid taxes because it's your responsibility as the seller to pay the taxes right. from the money that you gave you. Yeah. And then the car wasn't satisfactory to you. He tried to help you to get another car, and you wanted a car of the same value as the SUV. But the defendant gave you a deal, gave you a break on a $10,000 car, and he kept trying, according to the text messages, to get you another car. But somehow, you wanted a car of the same value, a $10,000 car for $8,000, and he said, well, no, no, I'll give you a car for the dollar value, right. exactly. which is different. So it broke down, and then he sent you a check of $4,000, right? Right, yes. You don't deny that you owe her an additional $4,000, am I correct? Yes. And you claim that the plaintiff declined the check. What do you mean, declined? When I, when her daughter gave her the second $4,000 check, she declined it. I had her daughter-in-law bring it back to my office. So, Ms. Hayes. Yes, sir. Did your daughter-in-law give you a second $4,000 check from the defense? No, sir. Okay, stop. And where is the check now? It's back, it's at my office now. So, write her another check today.